let's take a look at the chart action for ethereum all right so here's what we've been looking at i was watching this falling wedge pattern something like this we broke this going to the downside and after that i was targeting from the top to the bottom actually i think it was from here top to the bottom of that uh falling wedge something like this dragging this to the breakout and i was looking at a target of approximately 2800 which also lines up with this previous support right over here so and it does look like we're getting pretty close the other thing is that i was watching is if we zoom out a little bit we have i'm on the daily time frame right now and we have support right here and support right here we're looking at this uptrend something like this right now we're coming pretty close to that uptrend or that target lines up pretty close to that uptrend so what i'm thinking is i'm hoping is that we can hold support just like bitcoin hopefully we can hold support and then get a bounce out but i'm not sure if we break this trend line going to the downside then we'll be looking at maybe this level right here maybe sitting at around which is sitting at around let's zoom in and see what level it is the way it wicks down to about it wicks down to about 1712 so i mean it's possible we come down to these levels over here maybe i mean we got a bottom right here and a bottom right here i don't know i, I still think the, it wicks down all the way down here but the body comes down to around 1782 so i don't know it just depends that that's saying that we break that trend line over here though we haven't done that yet and the target is right here so what i'm thinking is or what i'm hoping is that we find support at the target and then we could get a bounce something like that but until we break this trend line going to the upside let's go ahead and delete this support because we pretty much broke it we're mainly looking at this resistance still so let's go ahead and drag this trend line going to the downside until we break this trend line i mean we could drag this it does, we don't know how, how far this is going to take us down but until we break this trend line going to the upside then i'm assuming that it's going to give us problems or we're going to get some volatility so i don't know it's possible that we kind of get come over here get a bounce come over here get rejected have to bounce through in this in this little area that's what i'm kind of thinking I'm really hoping just like Bitcoin, we hold support on this level or this previous support right here. Let's go ahead and do a horizontal orange line at the bottom bottom of this little support right here. We got a wick down to about right there. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see it. So we, we, we wicked down to about right here at around 2,656. I think if we start breaking past 2,656, then we can start looking at the next previous support which is down here at around 17 what did i say the the, the wick comes down to around 1700 and then the body comes down to around 1782 so yeah let's see what happens in this area right here maybe we could get some volatility and then break to the upside but it's possible that we break this trend line going to the downside and if we do i think that's a signal that we're going to be heading to the lower levels Let's jump over to the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. This chart is looking pretty interesting. We had support right here, support right here. I was watching this trend line going up like this. Right now, it looks like we're coming in to test that trend line right there. I'm curious if we're gonna break through and start coming and looking for this previous support down here. Basically, if this chart is trending up, it's good for Ethereum. And if this chart starts trending down, then it's good for Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is outperforming uh, Ethereum. We had a little triangle pattern, something like this. We broke to the downside. Last time I was looking at this, I was assuming that we were gonna come down and touch this trend line, which it looks like we're doing right now. What I'm really curious, like I just said, I'm curious if we're going to hold support or break down. If we if we jump over the weekly time frame, what I'm looking at is let's go ahead and delete everything. We have this nine moving average like this and we're below the nine moving average. And if you look at it on the weekly time frame, it just looks like it's trending down pretty hard. I mean, we have this trend like this and then we have this trend like this. So, I mean, like I said, I'm looking at that trend line on the daily time frame. If we look at it on the weekly time frame, it already looks like it's broken to the downside. So, I don't know. This could possibly be a signal that we are going to start pushing more. But let's switch back over the daily time frame. As you can see, if we drag it from the daily candles, then it looks a little bit different. And I think that's what I'm kind of looking at with the charts in general. The daily looks like it's holding support, but the weekly the weekly is not really looking that great on a lot of these charts let's jump over to the total crypto market cap because we haven't looked at this in a while either 
All right, so here's what I was looking at. We have resistance, resistance, support, support, and it looks like we might be holding support, but in general, it kind of looks like we're in this channel pattern, something like this. So until we break to the upside or to the downside, I'm just kind of assuming that we're kind of going to be bouncing something like this. Right now, it does look like we're holding support, and it, hopefully we can get a bounce and maybe start turning around, maybe do something like this. But until we break this bigger one going to the upside, then we're still kind of technically trending down. What I was kind of watching is this support right here. Until we broke this trend line going up, I was going to be watching this level right here, hoping we can get some support. We already kind of wicked down to that level right now. And I mean, we're right above that level. So I'm kind of curious if this level is going to hold support or if we're going to get a lower low like we've been looking at on the other charts. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. What I'm thinking is we have a low, a high, a low, a high. Now we're coming down. We're trending down pretty much and we're looking for that new low. Are we going to get a lower low or are we going to get the same low? Pretty much that's pretty much the option right now because right now we're pretty much at the same level as the previous low. I think if we break below this one right here though, this could be a signal of a possible bear market or at least a wick down, maybe come down to this level down here, which is around 1.2 trillion. I don't know. Right now, I'm being kind of optimistic that we can hold support. I'm really just looking at this one. If we break below that, then it'll be a signal that we're going to come down to this level, just like we've been looking at on Bitcoin and pretty much with Ethereum as well. So if we jump back over to Ethereum, I'm still watching this target of around 2,800. We haven't hit that yet, but it's we're still trending down. So I'm kind of wondering if we're going to catch a bounce right here. Or if we're going to come down, hit this target, and then catch a bounce. I wouldn't mind seeing some volatility in this area. Hopefully, we can stay in this area in general above this orange line right here. If we break below that, then we can start looking at those lower levels sitting around 1700. Let's see what happens right now, though. Hopefully, we get some bounces and then break to the upside. Let me know your analysis or price targets in the comments below. If you guys like Ethereum, hit that thumbs up button. If you're interested in custom videos or more price targets, come check out my Patreon. If you have any questions or want to talk about crypto, come check out my Discord. If you're new to crypto and want to learn how to get started, check out this playlist right here it's an intro to trading view and it'll help you follow along or do your own analysis if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching